Okay, so a couple of things stick out to me here. First and foremost, you really paid close attention. I mean, I just randomly asked you, <laughs> did you catch the interview? <laughs> you really paid close attention to that damn interview. Uh, are you a person that just watches interviews like that? Or was you zoned into that particular one? Number one, because Murph is from St. Louis. And number two, your name came up a couple of times throughout the interview. Um, do I watch interviews like that? I, I I watch interviews sometimes, but I paid attention because I wanted to see what he was saying about the group I was in and my name. And and what and what oh, speaking of, I'm a, I wanted to see what he was saying about me and the group I was in, if he was telling the truth, the authentic truth. And and it seems he wasn't. Which brings me to when he talked about the dirty NT chain getting snatched in my neighborhood in Walnut Park over on my street beacon, he said the guy that whoever did it didn't know either side. That was an outsider. That was um somebody who not even in the group, don't even rap with us, don't be on the bus with us or nothing. He just so happened to have somebody chain. They fought but, but, but 15 it, it chain. It turned out to be your brother's chain, though. I, I, 15 chain on and just out there. And at the time, them two dirty and them was beefing. And somebody told him to, to, to get from over her. And he wanted to be bigger than that. Cause he felt like he could call us or he can call somebody to come over there and help him. So he just trying to, he trying to show off in somebody else's hood. You know what I'm saying? Like period. And somebody, not even no main person, like somebody out the back end of the other hood, somebody who don't care about none, neither side <laughs> mm -hmm, <laughs> came mm -hmm. and just, and just did him wrong. Cause you over talking tough. I'm going to show you how tough you is. You know what I'm saying? Type of thing. So yeah, that, I think that happened. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know for sure. Um, that's I'm, I'm going off how you going off of it. We in, we smack dead in the middle of my neighborhood on my street where that neighborhood got birth on Beacon. And he, of course, I knew who took the chain. Of course, I knew everything about it. That's another thing he didn't know about that. He said that he didn't know what he was talking about. I was right there. I was shooting a video. The guy who had the dirty NT chain on. They told him, tuck the chain. You know what's going on. Just tuck it in. He didn't tuck it in. He kept his chest poked out. And I talked to him because he didn't, he saw me talk about this before. And he was like, man, why you got to keep talking about that? Bring it up. So I don't mean to, you know, I ain't going to say his name, but they told him, put the chain up. He didn't. One of the little homeboys politely snatched it off his neck and walked away. Just so happens it was Kiwan chain. I called Kiwan. And asked him, do you want me to get the chain back? Kiwan said, no, nah, fuck that chain. He shouldn't have had it over there with his chest poked out. That's all, that's his fault. That's the story. And I knew who did it. So Murph, once again, didn't know what he was talking about. Okay, so so let me play devil's advocate on this um, for a second. Because I did sit down with Murph. And, and he came with really positive energy. It, nothing he said um, seemed like it was done from a malicious no, standpoint. And it wasn't. No, no, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So so could it just be, I mean, damn, we talking 20 years now, at least. Could it just, I mean, people forget things. People, it, that, that's what, But he wasn't around. He, them situations he spoke on, he wasn't around them. Mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. wasn't involved in them. Those situations he spoke on, so that he really didn't know. And he could, you know what I'm saying? I know he was coming from a, he was coming from, uh, not a bad place. Murph is a cool dude. Me and Murph cool, and he was coming from a good place. And this is not, like I said, not to discredit him, mm -hmm. but something happened to me years ago. Somebody lied on me. I lost a record deal. I lost a lot from it. Yep. So now what that did is when somebody got my name in their mouth and saying something about me, especially if it ain't true, I got to set the record straight. I can't let that happen again. Makes 100% sense. I got to set the record I, straight. I got you. I understand. Now I see why it's so important for you. Because I'm listening to you. And you're using words like truth. Yeah. And, and Authenticity. It, 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 I wanted to make it clear. Because this it didn't sound like it came from a malicious place no. whatsoever. But now I understand why this is so important to you. Understood. Yeah. yeah, totally. Totally, man. I like to... I don't... When it comes to me, when I do interviews or anything that I do, I don't lie. I don't lie. I'm not going to get nowhere from lying. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to tell the truth every time because that's all we got. That's all I got is the truth, especially when it when it's when it's dealing with me. 
I got to tell the truth. No matter if it hurts somebody, no matter if it um, makes somebody proud, I'm going to tell the truth. 